Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a model that used to be quite popular in natural language processing, the bidirectional and autoregressive transformers or BART in short. Simply put, BART is a model that combines the best of both worlds from its predecessors BERT and GPT and although it's a little bit outdated at the time of recording this video, I thought it would be an interesting study case. Before we dive into the specific of the BART model, let's briefly revisit BERT and GPT. BERT is a transformer-based model that uses the encoder of the transformer to pre-train on lots of text, using the mask language modeling and the next sentence prediction objectives. On the other hand, GPT is an autoregressive language model that generates text by predicting the next word in a sequence using the decoder in the transformer model. Now, you might be wondering, how does BART differentiate itself from these models? Well, Simply put, BAR combines both the directional and the autoregressive transformer worlds, meaning that it contains both an encoder and a decoder. Also, same as BART, BART is a denoising autoencoder which was pre-trained by corrupting the input text and then teach to reconstruct it. However, compared to BART's pre-training, BART uses more complex text corruption techniques. So, in short, the fact that it uses an encoder-decoder architecture and the very specific corruption reconstruction process is what sets BART apart from both BERT and GPT. Now, let's dig a little bit deeper into the types of text corruptions used in BART. The first method is the token masking, where, similar to BERT, random tokens in a sentence are replaced with a mask token. Then, the model learns to predict the original tokens. The second method employed in pre-training BART is sentence permutation where the sentences in a document are shuffled and the model is tasked with reordering them. This helps the model understand the logical flow of a document, which could improve its ability to handle tasks like summarization and question answering. Then, the next method is document rotation, where a token is chosen at random and the document is rotated so that it begins with the token. Then, the model is trained to identify the start of the document. Quite similar to the token masking method, we have the token deletion method. As the name suggests, this method involves randomly deleted tokens from the text. Then, the model learns to infer the deleted tokens from the remaining context. And finally, we have text in filling. Here, not a single token, but a span of text is replaced with a single mask token. The model is then trained to generate the entire span of text. This is a more challenging task than token masking, and helps the model generate coherent and contextually relevant text. Now, let's talk about how BART can be fine-tuned for specific NLP tasks. For instance, to perform sentence classification, BART can be fine-tuned to predict a label for a given sentence by putting a fine-tuned head at the end of the decoder. Also, when it comes to text generation, this is where BART really shines because its encoder-decoder architecture makes it perfect for tasks like summarization and machine translation, which are two tasks where both BART and GPT struggle. And that's basically how the BART model works. Thanks for watching, and please hit the like button if you enjoyed this explanation. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Until the next time, folks. Bye bye.